Hi, this video is meant to help you enable the little use timeline feature on Google Maps on your iPhone. Having an accurate and precise history of where you've been, not only yesterday, but last week or two weeks ago, is information that might be particularly valuable to us in the coming months. It's also just interesting to see the patterns of movement that define the rhythms of our everyday lives. You might have heard about contact tracing recently. You may have also heard about the exposure notification API that Apple and Google have developed in partnership. Tracking on location is meant to complement these efforts, not replace them, and I encourage everyone to engage with and support both the public servants who will be doing this detective-like tracing work soon, as well as the government apps that use the aforementioned API, whether regional or national. Let's get started. First, ensure you have Google Maps downloaded. If you don't, you can find it in the App Store, of course. In the Google Maps app, tap the profile icon at the right end of the search bar to ensure you're logged into the Google account you'd like to use. Then, from that same menu, scroll down to your timeline. If you never open the timeline, you may be greeted with this pop-up. Tap through it. Now this next step is the most important, but most tricky. For the timeline feature to work effectively, Google Maps needs to know where you are always, not just when you're using Google Maps. Unfortunately, security updates in iOS 13 last year made it basically impossible to grant that level of access without diving deep into menus. So, upon opening timeline, you may be greeted with a prompt at the bottom of your screen to turn on the Always Allow setting. Tap this button to be taken directly to the Location Privacy menu and Settings, where we'll make the appropriate change. Alternatively, if you don't see that option, tap this ellipses menu at the top right of the screen. Then tap Settings, scroll down to Location Settings, tap Location Services is not set to Always to be taken to the same menu. If instead it says Location Services is on here, you're already set up and there's nothing left to do. Whether you tap the blue button or the menu item, you're now on the Location Privacy screen. Tap on the location line, then change the setting to Always. You're all set. Tap Google Maps in the menu bar at the top to be taken back to Google Maps. For reference, you can always get back to the menu we just changed under Settings, Privacy, Location Services, Google Maps. And that's it. Go back to living your life and forget about the setting if you'd like. You don't even need to use Google Maps. And hopefully this location data will only ever be relevant to you as a funny point of conversation or when comparing how little you went out with friends and family. For those of you reluctant about any of the above out of privacy concerns, though I do think it's a larger conversation for a different venue, I will suggest that advertisers probably already have this level of data about you and they get it through methods outside of your willful opt-in through Google Maps, and that the benefits might be worth the trade-offs in these extenuating circumstances. Feel free to share this video, and if anyone wants to share insights with me about this workflow for Android, I'd be happy to make another one. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home if you can. Be well.